My name is Dan gray and I'm the creator of Integration Regression Testing Tool. It's a tool that allows you to test a lot better. So in my career as an SP integration developer, I've often experienced that developers were not able to test the scenarios they wanted and had created fully. So they made a partial test and hoped most of it worked. But there's always a lot of small things that you change that you don't really get the big picture of. And the reason why people are not testing is it's too difficult. There are too many parameters you need to figure out what they are and how to fix. So I wanted to create a tool that made the process a lot simpler. Where you just had a click to get uh, the message you want to test and then another click to process the messages and see the results. So let me sh show you process in, uh, integration, regression testing tool, what it can do for you. So in this scenario, we have an ERP system that's sending an invoice and we want to record these messages. So the first thing we would do is we'll click here and add module. Add module would add a module in the beginning and in the end of each message. That way it's easy for us to process, uh, to record the messages, get them into this uh, test application, and then we can run the test on it. So we would record this message here. We would record it as integration, uh, migration. Uh, we have a different op option of uh, capturing partner names format. Uh, if you wanted to, we could use the B2B splitter. And we could rewrite the system to use an other system name. So here we are just going to use the same one because we're using it on the same system. But we could have engines on different uh, systems where we would reach out to our productive system, get a list of productive messages and process these uh, documents. So let's start this process here. And then we will start and send some messages through. Start here. So that should have given us uh, some test case, and we can see we have some recordings now. So now we have two messages of message invoice 06, uh, and what we can do is we can create test case. Create test case would then make a test of these documents, and we can see we have our migration test here. We can see here, so we didn't have to specify the messages in the part. Uh, the documents we could just specify an X path and it would figure out what are the partners we're involving with here. It could also find the message type. It has capability to, to support uh, um, extraction also from Edifact X12 uh, documents. So here we have this uh, document. We want to run it and if we click run here, test or run, we can see we got a successful run here. If you want, we can see the details of this. We have an error on this flow. We can view the results, and we see um, both of them, they, they failed. We can see the difference here. There's something in this segment, and this is a timestamp I've put in, so it will show us what are the errors we're getting. And this is an effect file we're doing the comparison on. We could also download the report. This is an Excel document. where so the, the Excel document will allow us to easily share our results, attach it if we wanted to do different places. And we can see here what are the differences in this document. We can see how to, to get access to, to the messages. And so this is an easy way of seeing what's going on. Uh, if Are there any specific partners we're dealing with that is always failing and we need to do something special for these partners. So this is what it can do, um, putting in modules, capturing messages, and then you can replay them on your development system. It also has the capability, if you don't want to send the messages to the end partner, to create a copy of all the, the artifacts you have created and send the document just internally into the PI system. Uh, that way you can test more thoroughly about uh, uh, dynamic uh, specific attributes 
and the full adapter module process chain. So I hope that you find this tool helpful. If you do, you can try it out on your own system for a period of time and see how easy it is for you to set up a test case, run the test, and with that, make your system much more reliable and limit the amount of support you have to do on it. So I hope you want to go on, there's a link just below here, click, click it, and you can just go to the download page and, and try it out. I'm looking forward to, to hear your responses on this. Goodbye.